Hi guys. In this video I want to show you uh, well the process and the steps to follow to actually unlock the the trade table for weapons in the revelations. Um, obviously it's more useful when you've got a, a bunch of people playing together but even if you solo you can actually unlock it and place a weapon that you might need later or whenever in the game on the table for in case it might be a situation of running out of ammo or whatever in a later high round or so on so today I'm going to go through the motions um, and show you all the steps that's needed to get this done enjoy everything belongs somewhere even if it can never return Okay, so the first thing that we had to do is to, to get the chalk off that pillar. I think we did. I heard a sound. I'm not 100% convinced, but I think so. Second thing is to get this piping off the wall. Okay, so that worked. So we did get the chalk. Now this needs to be taken through into... Um, Baruch. and seeing as I've now already opened all the, the portals and go to this side into Baruch and you'll find a second drive thing on the floor here you'll see it there and you replace the two by just interacting with it. So they did that. Okay, so now we've got the, the second piece of writing. And we need to now take that into Nacht Brandtoten on the stairs. The stairs here in the middle. So you need to jump a bit. Maybe slightly. Okay, so that wrote that there and now you need to take that to the other stairs and put it on the wall here. Okay, so effectively you don't have any writing with you at the moment. So you need to now go into mob. Now obviously you just need to get the zombies out of the way. You need to go into the mob area and we need to pick up or fetch writing that's on a specific wall and it's this that we need to get okay so we have that now now we need to take that into Kino Stay out of the way of the zombie. So we need to now take this into the theater. And there we in Kino you originally had the power switch. Right next to it is where you need to now swap the writing again. This one is also quite high so up against the wall, the has so it might again need a bit of a jump to, to get it on there. So let's see. Okay, that's done. I just need to get away from the zombie again. And we need to now take this back to mob. So we've got an empty wall there now, where we took that writing but the quote that's supposed to be there is not there at the moment it's actually with us so 
let's take that there. And that essentially is the last part of the, the process that you need to follow to get it. Once this is done, we would have unlocked there in the Eisendrach, would have unlocked the Tommy gun on the wall and you would actually enable the the table in Nacht to work. That sound indicates that it's done. So now we just need to go and check that it's working. So let's go and see if the Tommy gun is there. Although I've already got the Tommy gun I got it from the boss box You will now be able to buy this off the wall here yeah. Okay, and I can now buy ammo because I've already got the gun Okay, so now what you would do with this is obviously if there's multiple players in the game This is a huge benefit because you can kind of move guns around around between players um, but even for a single player you can actually now go and store a gun on this table so if I come back later and I'm out of ammo and that gun's got a lot of ammo then I can actually get it now the way this thing functions or works is that if you've got a gun and you put it down on the table, that's fine. You obviously lose the gun, you don't have that gun in your hands anymore, it's on the desk. Somebody else can go and pick it up, but if they are actually... Let's say the guy, it, it works like a, a, a box. So if you've already got a gun in your hands, so you've got your two guns, or if you've got your mule kick, you've got three, and you pick it up, you're actually losing the gun that's in your hands. It's not, not a matter of you putting your gun down on the desk and taking the other one. That's not the way it works. So it's, it's like a box where you actually purchase the box and if, you've got a, if, you just, if you just have one gun now, you will have two and if you add two and you've got a gun in your hands, it will actually replace the gun that you've got in your hands. So let's test it and I've only got one gun at the moment so I'm going to buy a second one we must break this perpetual cycle. and now if I go and pick that gun up I should lose the RK5 and get the Tommy gun back that's now lying on the desk So now I've only got the Tommy gun, so it's exactly what it's doing, it's, it works exactly like a box. Right, I hope it helps somebody. Thanks for watching, bye.